Awesome. So uh, thank you for taking the time to jump on. We're going to start with a little bit of a game, and you may have already played this one. Um, and you can answer yes, or you can give me some thumbs up. Did you all try um, Wacky Inventions? Thumbs down are good. I need feedback. Entrepreneurs need feedback, y'all. Thumbs down. OK, Sammy's got a thumbs up. OK, very cool. Thank you. Um, so this will be cool. Most of you have not had an experience with this. What about in Zoom? Have you used breakout rooms? Yes, no. Zoom breakout rooms, yes. Zoom breakout rooms, no. Oh, great, now I get to introduce you to this. So in a moment, um, there's gonna be a little pop-up box on your screen. And so when it asks you to join a breakout room, just click yes. yes. But the game, Wacky Inventions. We're gonna take two objects, and combine them into one. And when we do that, we're gonna then come up with a way to pitch it and try to convince the other group that it's the best thing in the whole world and they need it in their lives. For example, Heather, can you pick up an object real quick? Anything, random, go, quick. Uh, phone charger. Phone charger, me. I've got a porcelain frog. So our job is to, with no rules at all, um, so it's not a bad idea. As creatively as you want, combine these two. So uh, what do we know about a phone charger? Phone charger, people use it to charge their phones. You could maybe, which is their typical um, reason why you use them, but maybe you could use them another way. You could maybe tie things with it because it has a long cord. So it could be used to maybe tie something, um, right. hold things together. Maybe you could tie two things together, hold something up. That could be another use for the cord. So my porcelain frog is made of porcelain it's a decoration i think it's used maybe as a paperweight um, maybe it could be used differently um yeah, as a paperweight it'll be mine so now we have to put them together so how might we combine these to come up with something new hmm kaylee please unmute and let us know you said it when you said it could be used as a paperweight i thought everyone is constantly like where's the cord i got to charge my device right so what if you used a paperweight as a portable charger and you oh. put the charger inside the um, paperweight to make it like an office decoration, but also a charger? So you, what you just did there, Kay first everybody give Kaylee a round of applause. You have to go around in a circle. That was a pitch, y'all. That was straight up, you like, what if, and you set the scene and what the need was, everyone needs this and we've got your solution. I'll buy one right now, Kaylee, how much? No, not yet. Okay. You're going to market research later and find your price points. So I was jumping ahead a little bit. Okay. So now let's do this ourselves. Um, let's see. Ben, do you have something in your room within reach that you can just pick up any object? It doesn't matter as long as it's appropriate. Hmm. What could it be, Ben? I have a hanger. Yes, you do. We have a coat hanger. Maui, what do you have? Um, I have a face mask. A face mask and a coat hanger. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. Explore your objects. What do they normally do, but what could they do? And then what might they do together? And uh, Kaylee's example was wonderful. We'll come back in and we'll pitch our ideas to each other. Coat hanger and a mask. Okay, let's get creative. What do you think? What does a coat hanger usually do? Coat hanger is usually used to hang up pants or shirts or, or something in the closet. Okay, great. And so what about a face mask? Um, you could use it to hang up your face mask. Okay, tell me more about that, Sammy. Why might that be important? Tastes like it's just laying on the floor or something. Okay, it would keep it clean? Yeah. All right, so cool. When we're brainstorming, we can come up with a lot of ideas and then we can come back and pick one in a minute. So what other ways? What do you think, Ben? Mm. There are no wrong answers, only ideas. A face mask usually covers something, right? Usually your face, but it could cover anything. Hmm. 
coat hangers. I'm taking a coat hang. Oh, go ahead, Ben. Oh, I wasn't saying something. Oh, your mouth was like, ah. Oh. Why is there nothing on your coat hanger, Ben? <laughs> it was just a plain hanger lying next to me. Awesome. So, Sammy, let, let's think about that. And Ben, your idea here of hanging up a mask. Who would need that? Why would they need it? And how would you tell someone that this is something so important that they need in their lives? You could put on the hanger and use it to clean stuff up. Okay. Excellent. So that has two functions. Awesome. Well, you could use it to hang up multiple masks because right now during the coronavirus, everybody, well, pretty much everyone has masks and they usually don't really have a place. So you could just use it to hang up a whole bunch of them. Oh, so like a hat rack, but for masks. There we go. And I think with the family, Ben, you have your siblings there, right? So maybe that's that... actually my sister. Uh, well, well, there you go. See, um, you don't want to wear I their mask, mask. But do you want do you want to wear Ben's mask? No, definitely not. No, but that's that's not that's gross. So maybe this is a way to keep your masks organized and separate, especially in big families. Okay, so when we go back in the other room, I'm gonna let them know we have, um, we're, we are almost ready. Let's practice run through a, a quick pitch. What might that sound like if you're gonna convince the other group that this is the best thing in the world? Let's start with the problem. What's the problem you're solving with this new invention? Organizing masks, so. Where you can keep them, them clean. Getting them off the floor or off a table or something and um, keeping them separated. Okay, so Sammy, might you start by explaining um, the, the product the, that you have? And then Ben, you can talk about the problem that it solves. Sammy, you good with that? Okay, I'm gonna close all the rooms and have them come back in. I hope they're ready. Hey, welcome. All right, are y'all ready for these ideas? Yeah. I hope so. Who wants to go first? Anybody wanna paper, rock, scissors me? Kaylee, do you wanna pitch our idea first? Okay, hey, so with our two things was now I had a mask and I had a flashlight. So we decided that since a mask has multiple layers, what if you used it like a bag? So you had like Velcro on one end so you could open it up and put stuff inside and you could use like, catch some sort of mini flashlight on it to like if you're traveling at night or something, so it's safer. Well done, nice, let's give them a snap clap. You can't snap, just pretend. <laughs> okay, nice. All right, Sammy, Ben, go for it. Okay, so our idea, so we had a mask and a hanger. Our idea was you put the mask on the hanger to keep it clean. And then the problem that we were solving was, right now during the coronavirus, people have a lot of masks everywhere in the house. And so we designed this hanger kind of like a, hat rack almost, so that you could get them up off the floor or off a table or something and keep them organized and separated. Nice. Marshmallow clap. Marshmallow, squeeze the marshmallow. <laughs> I, um, so great job, y'all. That is using your imaginations and that's exactly what entrepreneurs do. They take items and objects that are normal and they use, can use them in a different way. And a lot of times, it's to help other people, which I think it's really interesting that y'all chose masks. Uh, one, because they were beside you. Um, I'm glad you're using them. 
and that it's important and it actually is something that can help you, your family it can help your community and it can help wyoming um, as it goes against its cases so nice job